Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily redirect your posts and pages in WordPress absolutely free. Okay, so recently I was working with a number of my different websites, one over at Rightly and & Company and then one over at Notable Themes, and I kept running into this problem over and over again, which is, gotta, which is that I have an old page or post in WordPress that I just want to redirect somewhere else. I don't want to go through and set up all these rewrite rules on the server, go through any of that. Some of it I kind of know how to do, some of it I don't. But the big challenge was that I've just got this post, like let's say I've got rightly designed or you know rightly.co slash training, and I just want that to go somewhere else. Well, I started to do some searching as you do on Google to see if I could find a nice simple free WordPress plugin that did this. And so there were a couple, a couple that came pretty close. There's one called Pretty Links, which is good, but it's mainly for if you don't have a page yet and you wanna redirect it. Or let's say you have a multi-site and one of the sites on the multi-site, not to get too complicated, but you want the home page on that multi-site site to redirect somewhere else. You can't do that with Pretty Links since it's the root or the home URL. So again, I did a lot of searching. I probably went through four or five different plugins and none of them just let me go to a post, hit edit on the post, and then just redirect that particular page or post somewhere else. So what I decided to do was just write my own plugin. So today what I wanted to do was show you how you can get this plugin absolutely free and show you how to use it uh, so you can see how it can come in handy for your own WordPress websites. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so all you gotta do to get this plugin, I just today added it over to our collection over at Notable Themes. It's absolutely free, you'll be able to see it over here. It's just called Post and Page Redirect. So all you gotta do is click on that. Uh, and then what you should be able to do after that is fill out this uh, quick form. This is gonna give you access to all of our free plugins over at Notable Themes. So just make sure you fill this out uh, and you will get access to this and all of our free plugins. Okay, so once you've done this, you should be able to download from that email our, our Notable Themes Manager plugin. Uh, so make sure you look for that in the email. And once you get that, you just wanna hop on over to your WordPress website. So I'm just working in a totally blank demo site right now. So I'm just gonna pop on over to demo. I'm gonna go to plugins. I'm gonna add new. And I think I actually already have, uh, then we're gonna go to upload. And I think I already have this installed, so we'll find out here in a second. But you're just gonna wanna drag this over here, click install now. Yeah, it's already it already exists, I already have it installed. So once you've gone through that process, you'll be able to, un, uh, to install and then activate it, and it should show up right here. It's the Notable Themes Manager, so I'll go ahead and activate that. There we go, and once I've activated that particular plugin, you'll be able to see it down here at the bottom left or towards the bottom left-hand side of your particular WordPress installation. I'm gonna click on that, and we'll see it's gonna have a nice list of all the things that we have available to us. Some are paid, but some of them are free, so we're gonna look down here to the new free uh, post and page redirect plugin. So all I gotta do is click install. See that gives that a moment to go through the installation process, so that works. Uh, and then once we've done that, we just wanna head on back over to plugins, and we should be able to see that that post and page redirect has been added, and we just click activate, and now we're up and running. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is just head on over to our posts page, or our posts section. So let's say we've got all these WordPress posts and let's take a look at this sample post here. So we go here and let's say we've got this blog post that we've written, but you know what? It's kind of old and outdated and I've written a new version of this that I just published and I want this blog post to redirect to this uh, or to the new post, right? So let's go back and let's say that the new one is, or let's say that the old one is hello world. So this is the old post. Let's go ahead and view it. There we go, so this is the old post and I want this to redirect to the new one with the picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the, back to posts, then we're gonna go to sample post. And you know what, this is a quick thing I'm gonna mention as well. One of the things I noticed about this particular install of WordPress is that it's got this old permalink setup. This is just what happens with a new WordPress website. So real quickly, let's go change that. Let's go over to settings, permalinks, 
And let's just change it to something that works a little bit better. We'll just do the plain old post name, click Save Changes, go back over to Posts, View Hello World, and you see now it's got the slug. It's a nice, pretty URL as uh, they are known. Okay, so now let's jump back over to uh, our posts. All right, so let's get the URL of my sample post because this is the new one. And I want all the traffic from my old uh, post to go to the new one. So now all I got to do is go back to the admin, go on over to posts, click on hello world. And then on the right hand sidebar, you'll see we've got this new section down here. Oop, wrong button. Okay, we've got this new section down here that says redirect. Now I'm in the Gutenberg editor right now. If you're using the classic editor, as I typically recommend, it's going to be about in the same position. It's just going to look a little bit different. Okay, and you're going to have the spot for redirect URL. So we're just going to paste that in here. And then if this is just a temporary redirect, you can just keep it at 302. If this is permanent, if this isn't gonna be changing back at any point in time, you can go ahead and change it. We're just gonna leave it at the 302 since that's typically def the default. So we'll go ahead and click update. Now, what happens when we go and we view this post is you will see that it redirects us to my sample post. So that's going to apply from here moving forward. People will always be redirected from that page to whatever one that you specify. Really simple, but let's go ahead and take another look here and let's try the same thing for pages. You'll see the exact concept applies. Let's say if we want this sample page also to redirect to that sample post, all I gotta do is go down here to this redirect URL. We're gonna click update and we're gonna click view page. Then you'll be able to see here, it's also going to that sample post. And then if at any point in time you want to remove that redirect, it's just as easy as removing that particular section here. So we'll go ahead and remove it, hit update, hit view page, and there you go, it's back to that sample page. Okay, so I know that was just a really simple tip, really simple plugin, but if you're like me and that's kind of caused some headaches for you with your WordPress website, I just wanted to make sure that I supplied that to you. So just click the link below this video where I've got a link over to Notable Themes where you can get that plugin absolutely free. So hopefully you find it useful. Also, I wanted to mention something else that uh, we just recently released, which is a five part training series uh, on building an effective brand. So if there is a, a type of trade or industry that you wanted to start going into independently, if you wanna start your own business, if you wanna go pro with your writing or whatever type of uh, trade you like to do, whatever creative work you like to do, or even if you already have a business and you're looking to grow it, this series is absolutely free. It's a five part video series. I was gonna charge somewhere around $1,000 for this course, but I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna give it to you guys for free. So click the link below this video, sign up to get that five part video series, as well as the link above that to get this plugin that I mentioned uh, in this video, both of which are totally free. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.